<laughs> Are you ready to be scared by the water without getting wet? This will be the ultimate YouTube video with 20 of the dangerous river monsters of the Amazon. They are equipped with a list of features that will give you the thrill riding experience you've been looking for. The river monsters are found in parts of the Amazon River and are known as showcased predators. So that's the mouth right there. These creatures have skills that help them capture their prey with style from incredible strength, speed, and agility. All these monsters can make you lose your breath. Don't believe me? Just watch this video of 20 deadliest river monsters of the Amazon. Number 20. Arapaima Fish That way leads to peril. Try a new path. Oh, I mistook you for someone swimming towards Arapaima Fish by the river. Do you know? The Arapaima is a type of air-breathing fish found in the Amazon River and other freshwater bodies in South America's rainforest. The largest of these freshwater fish can reach a length of 15 feet and a weight of 440 pounds, making them one of the world's largest fish species. However, fish of this size have not been seen for quite some time. The average dimension are 6 feet in length and 200 pounds. Arapaimas are characterized by their slim, coppery green heads, upturned mouths, and sleek black and white scaly bodies. Their massive red tails are tipped with a dorsal fin through their backs. Brazil calls these fish piraruku, derived from the Tupi word for redfish. Due to their need for air, arapaimas have a limited time underwater, typically between 10 and 20 minutes. Their modified swim bladder opens into their mouth and functions as a long, so they must surface frequently. Its loud, distinctive gulp sounds like a cough and can be heard from far away. They are fond of coming up to the water. Be careful when you go on your next dive. Before we begin, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Bull Shark Even though bull sharks are typically found in saltwater in aquatic china shops, they have shown remarkable adaptability when introduced to fresh water. It's one of only two shark species that can survive in freshwater environments, the other being the rare river shark. You might say something like, oh, I get it. A 265-pound bull shark was caught near Iquitos, Peru in 1963, nearly 4,000 kilometers from the Atlantic Ocean. They are also frequently caught in the Brazilian Amazon due to their proximity to the ocean. Their sightings in the United States extend as far as Illinois, on the banks of Mississippi. Due to their adapted kidneys, bull sharks can live successfully in both saltwater and freshwater environments. In response to a shift in the salinity of the water, the kidneys of organisms with this osmoregulatory ability reduce the excretion of essential salts, reusing them throughout the body. Bull sharks reproduce in freshwater environments. The bull shark is unique among sharks in that it gives birth to fully developed young immediately after birth rather than laying eggs and rearing them. Since birth, river pups have an innate defense against predators thanks to the shallow fresh water. It's also true that young bull sharks can't handle salty water very well. They wait until they're older to make the switch. Number 18. red tail Catfish Native to the river basins of South America's Amazon and Orinoco systems, the red tail catfish is a large, brightly colored fish. To survive requires moving water such as a stream or river. These massive fish are a popular attraction at aquariums due to their striking red fins and impressive appearance. Its long, sensitive whiskers are used as olfactory organs. Its maximum length is around 6 feet. It's a more proactive predator than passive, unlike most catfish. The Amazon is home to three species of giant catfish, one of which is this fish. Fractocephalus hemioleoteris is the fish's official scientific name. The Cajaro is a common name for it in Venezuela. The Pierrada is its name in Brazil. Fractocephalus brachycephalus is the only living member of its genus. Longevity is a hallmark of the red-tailed catfish. 
They have a captive lifespan of up to 15 years, but their natural one is much longer. Anxiety can build up in captivity if the animal is kept in a tank too small. Most anglers consider the red-tailed catfish one of the most sought-after game fish. Many tourists travel to the Amazon River Basin to land one of these massive exotic river fish. They put up a good fight, so they make for great game fish. Large and colorful, these fish delight even the most seasoned anglers to reel in. Number 17. Giant Leech the giant Amazonian leech, or Hymenteria giliani, is the world's largest sponge species. It has a maximum length of 450 millimeters, 17.7 inches, and a maximum width of 100 millimeters, 3.9 inches. A juvenile of these leeches will have a non-continuous stripe of color and patchy coloring, but an adult will be a uniform grayish brown. From the Guianas to the Amazon, they are widespread. They call that area home from the Amazon River's delta upstream to Venezuela and the Guineas. Marshes along the coast are home to the giant Amazonian leech. Grandma Moses, one of these leeches, established a thriving breeding colony at UC Berkeley. Baby leeches eat frogs and toads. Caimans, anacondas, capybaras, and domestic cattle are common adult prey. Regarding reproductive strategy, this species is a strong swimmer that hides its food and cocoons under rocks or floating debris in the water. None of the giant Amazonian leeches are in danger of extinction. It can defend its family from harm without outside help. Number 16. Electric Eel at night, electric eels emerge from the depths of South American rivers to attack their prey with a jolt of electricity that can reach up to 860 volts. Scientists have recently discovered that snake-like fish often hunt in packs, like wolves, orcas, and certain tuna species. This finding is the first of its kind among electric fishes and may pave the way for future research into the origins of social predation of fishes. Through genetic analysis, scientists have discovered not one but two new species of electric eels in the Amazonian basin. The most powerful of which can deliver a shock unlike any previously experienced. Researchers say their findings highlight the incredible diversity in the Amazon rainforest, much of which is still unknown to science, and show how important it is to preserve a habitat threatened by deforestation, logging, and fires. The electric eel, a type of fish, inspired the first ever electric battery, which has developed despite human activity in the Amazon rainforest over the past 50 years. For centuries, it was believed that only one species lived in the greater Amazonia region that spans parts of Brazil, Suriname, and Guyana. Electric eels use electric shocks for many reasons, including hunting, self-defense, and navigation. They use three electric organs that can release charges of varying strengths to power their devices. Number 15. Green Anaconda is it around you? If there is no evidence of the green anaconda, one of the few snakes capable of swallowing a human whole, you can rest assured that you are safe. Throughout their lives, green anacondas can attain more than 29 feet in length, weights of more than 550 pounds, and girths of more than 12 inches. Women typically weigh in a lot more than men do. South America is home to several other anaconda species, including smaller yellow, dark-spotted, and Bolivian varieties, both in water and on land. Anacondas are most commonly found in the Amazon and Orinoco Basin's tropical rainforests, where they inhabit wetlands and slow-moving streams. Although bulky on land, they are nimble and agile in the water. They can lay still for prey while staying almost entirely submerged. thanks to the location of their eyes and nasal openings on the top of their heads. Wild pigs, deer, birds, turtles, capybaras, caimans, and even jaguars contribute to their enormous size. Elastic ligaments join their jaws, so they can swallow any prey of any size whole and go weeks or months without eating after a large meal. The female anaconda keeps her eggs and gives birth from a dozen to a few dozen healthy offspring. Snake hatchlings are about two feet long and can swim and hunt almost immediately. Number 14. Black Cayman As the largest known member of the family Alligatoridae, the Black Cayman is the largest crocodilian in the world. 
The slow-moving rivers, lakes, and seasonally flooded savannas of the Amazon basin are just some places of this carnivorous reptile calls home in South America. It's the third largest reptile in the Neotropics, after the American crocodile and the Orinoco crocodile, and it can grow to be at least 5 meters, 16 feet long. The adult black caiman lives up to its common and scientific names by being very dark in color. There are those whose dark skin tones look nearly black. Its lower jaw is banded with shades of gray and brown. The banding on the flanks of juveniles is more pronounced and persists into adulthood and than in most other species. This is true both within and between individuals of the same species. The bony ridge seen in other caimans is present, but the overall appearance is unique. The large and heavy head is an asset when hunting larger animals. Caimans are long and squat with large jaws, long tails, and short legs. They resemble crocodiles in these characteristics. Their eyes and noses sit atop their heads, and their skin is thick and scaled. This adaptation allows them to see and breathe normally even though their bodies are submerged in water. Number 13. Red-Bellied Piranha Reddish pigmentation extends from the chin and cheeks down the belly of a red-bellied piranha. The head and body are a range of grays and bright silver scales dot the sides. There's a reason the piranha has a distinctively rounded and snub-nosed profile. Short, stocky lower jaw with triangular, razor-sharp teeth that fit neatly into a matching set of teeth up top. Powerful muscles attach the forehead to the lower jaw. The piranha's jaw is built to shear and rip through food with tremendous force. However, these formidable teeth are rarely seen because of the thick, fleshy lips. They can get up to 4 pounds in weight and 30.5 centimeters in length. Low-lying areas of the Amazon River Basin are home to many red-bellied piranhas. They can be found in both passive and active regions of the Amazon's vast freshwater basin system. Fins lopped off the tails of larger fish make up a significant part of their diet in the wild. A piranha's diet also includes animal byproducts, small fish, insects, aquatic invertebrates, figs, and other ripe fruits. Commonly seen in groups of 20 or more, they migrate in large groups. Their average lifespan is at least 10 years. Number 12. Poison Dart Frog the blue poison dart frog was not known until 1969 is only found in a small portion of the rainforest in Suriname in northern Brazil. In other words, they are only awake during the day or diurnal. They make their homes in the moss and rocks near streams, though it is not uncommon to spot them high in the trees. The skin of a poison dart frog contains a natural poison that can paralyze or destroy a predator. The frog does not produce these toxins. Rather, they come from the highly poisonous ants the frog eats in the wild. These frogs' vivid coloring is a warning signal to would-be predators. The common name of these frogs comes from the centuries-old practice of indigenous peoples like the Choco of Colombia using the frog's poison to coat the edge of their blow darts before going on hunts. Just like the vast majority of other amphibians, blue dart frogs develop from eggs. This transforms into a tadpole, which its parent then transports to an aquatic environment. One of nature's greatest feats is the transformation of a tadpole into a frog, a process known as metamorphosis. Number 11. Armored Catfish Armored catfishes are algivorous, nocturnal, and distinguished by a sucker ventrally on the dorsal fin. In ideal conditions, Lorica reeds can grow more than three feet long. The fish can use their suckers on various surfaces thanks to their flattened ventral floor. The pectoral fins have thick toothed spines and the adipose fin has a backbone. These features could be used in male-male competition and movement. The armored catfish, so named for the bony plates that cover its body, is triangular in outline and marked with leopard spots. This grin is toothless, uses a scraper to remove algae from the undersides of rocks, tree trunks, and riverbeds. The sucker mouth can also attach to surfaces in strong currents. Armored catfish and lurica rids are popular aquarium fish because they can clean the tank's surfaces by sucking up algae and other debris. These catfish, which look like they belong in a prehistoric aquarium, are called plectostomus, or plecos and have thick, bony plates. Its vascularized abdomen allows it to breathe air and stay afloat for more than 30 hours, making it a potential survivor in low-oxygen waters. Its bony spines are not poisonous, but they do a good job of scaring away potential predators. If the armored fish catfish feels threatened, it will extend its fins to prevent itself from being swallowed whole. Number 10. Giant Otter 
The giant river otter, or Terranura brasiliensis, is a South American endemic member of the Mustelid weasel family. It can grow to a length of 6 feet, 1.8 meters, making it the longest otter and the longest member of the Mustelid family. The Amazon, the Orinoco, and the La Plata are the only places on Earth where you can find the giant river otter. This otter is an excellent swimmer, having evolved to use its sleek body and webbed feet in salt water and fresh water. The giant river otter's habitat consists of the edges of wetland ecosystems such as marshes and swamps, and the banks of slow-moving rivers or creeks. Denning on high banks, lots of vegetation, and plenty of fish are all desirable habitat features. Despite its name, this otter doesn't just chow down on fish and crustaceans. They compete with jaguars and larger adult caimans for the same prey items because their diets are similar. One of the reasons why giant river otters are such effective predators is because of their whiskers, which are sensitive to vibrations in the water column and allow them to locate prey. And they eat like pigs. Each otter can put away between 6 and 9 pounds of food daily. Number 9. Kandiru the Candiru is a parasitic freshwater catfish found in the Amazon basin, countries of Bolivia, Brazil, Colombia, Ecuador, and Peru. It's also known as Cairo, toothpick fish, and vampire fish. Candiru has been defined in a variety of ways by various authors. Different sources use the term mean either Vandalia, Cirrhosa, the entire genus Vandalia, the subfamilies Vandalinae or Vandalinae and Stegophilinae. There are species of Candiru that are substantially smaller than the 40 cm 16 inch maximum length that has been documented. Despite ethnological accounts from the late 19th century, the first case of Candiru removed from a human urethra was not recorded until 1997. Even that incident has since generated debate. Candyfish or Candirus are tiny marine creatures. The average length of the Vandalia is 17 cm, 7 inches, but some species can get up to 40 cm in length, 16 inches. Each has a short neck and a stomach that can look bloated after consuming a lot of blood. Translucent skin makes it hard to spot in the murky waters where it lives. The gill covers and sensory barbells are both relatively short and oriented backward. Number 8. Pocket. Paku is a common name for several species of South American freshwater, Saracelmadai fish that eat everything and are related to piranhas. Paku and piranha don't have the same teeth. The main difference is how their jaws are set. Piranhas have sharp, pointed teeth and strong underbite, while Paku has square, straighter teeth and a less severe underbite or straight, slight overbite. Paku eats mostly plants and not other animals or scales. Also, the Paku can grow much bigger than the Piranha up to 1.08 meters, 3 feet 6 inches long and 88 pounds, 40 kilograms heavy. When it comes to monsters in the Amazon River, the Paku is the one that gets a lot of attention these days. Paku comes in many shapes and sizes, but they are all related to the Piranha. The Paku mostly eats plants, while Piranha mostly eats meat. They eat nuts and fruits that fall from trees into the water with their teeth that look like ours. Now, Paku gets so much attention because they have a reputation for biting men's testicles. And the attention worth it? Number 7. Freshwater Stingray one of the few ray species found in freshwater instead of saltwater, freshwater stingrays, is endemic to the Amazon River system. Despite their mild demeanor, these animals cause more human injuries than any other Amazonian species. Stingrays constantly replace their spines because of their high turnover rate. They may even have two at once on occasion. Despite their mild demeanor, more people are injured yearly by these animals by any other in the Amazon. Pups is the term used to describe young stingrays, one of the few ray species found in freshwater instead of saltwater. Freshwater stingrays is endemic to the Amazon river system. While generally peaceful, these animals are the leading cause of human injuries in the Amazon. Eyes are located on the dorsal side of these fish's elongated bodies, while their mouths and gill slits are on the underside. So that's the mouth right there. The spiracles, or breathing holes, are located directly behind the eyes. They have long, saw-like spines behind the pelvic fin, and their tails are typically longer than their disc width. 
The stinger can be used as a weapon, equipped with the sharp barbs that can tear through flesh when withdrawn. Venomous protein is stored in grooves beneath each spine. Stingrays can have two stingers at once because their spines are constantly being shed and replaced by new ones. The dorsal patterns of most South American species are bright and varied, with spots of varying sizes set against dark gray, brown, or black backgrounds. Number 6. Kiriba the Pariba is the biggest Amazonian catfish and one of the mightiest fish in the world. The Pariba's upper side is white and its underside is a dark gray to black. Some have likened Pariba to sharks due to their large, spiky dorsal fins. The Pariba is the largest fish in the Amazon, reaching lengths of 3.6 meters and weights of 200 kilograms. Theories abound as to what might be causing it to act this way. Canoes used by fishermen are a particular target of the Paribas, as it is widely believed. Some say the Pariba can eat a human whole. In the River Monsters episode, Amazon Flesh Eaters, Jeremy comes into physical contact with one of these legendary beasts. Large fish, however, can reach weights up to 300 to 400 pounds. Although paribas are most commonly caught in the Amazon River proper, these catfish can be found throughout the Amazon basin, from the rivers along Brazil's coast to those in the Andean foothills of Bolivia and Peru. In 2005, a new species, the black paraiba, was described from the Amazon. More recently, a study demonstrated how certain genetic variations are strongly related to river types in the Amazon, drawing attention to the critical need for management measures to conserve this flagship species. Number 5. The Vampire Fish the Payara. Fascinated by the vampire fish's shadowy reputation, one of the most bizarre fish species in South America is the Payara. The lack of knowledge about this species contributes to its mysterious reputation. but its striking appearance, highlighted by two enormous fangs, does not help matters. It's also known as the water wolf or saber-toothed tigerfish. Piranhas are one of its first meals of the day. The Amazon River Basin in South America is home to vampire fish. To thrive, the water must be very clear and have some strong currents. Some of the most common places to find her are at the bases of waterfalls and the bottoms of raging rivers. You can find a fish called a payara, a carnivore in the Amazon. Its lower jaw features long, curved fangs. A payara's teeth are sure to be one of your first observations. Payaras have two long fangs that protrude from their lower jaws and sharp, spiky daggers that line their gums. The payara's upper jaw is performed to accommodate its enormous fangs, which can extend to a length of between 4 and 6 inches. The rest of their bodies are similarly optimized for speed and strength. Their fan-shaped caudal fins help them navigate rapids and choppy water, and their bony faces conceal large gills. Number 4. Glinch Catfish the scientific name for this fish species is Bagarius yarelli, although its common name is Goonch catfish, commonly refers to it. The huge devil catfish and the river monster are names given to this fish species due to its enormous size and frightening strength. The dwarf Goonch catfish, also known as B. yarelli and B. bagarius, were considered two distinct species until 2021. Despite how impossible it may sound, keeping a creature of such of a horrific nature in home aquarium is feasible. Suppose you have a sufficiently large aquarium with adequate fish keeping knowledge. In that case, you should be able to keep the dwarf variant of this fish in your home aquarium without too much trouble. Keep in mind that you will need a strong current and a tank of at least 180 gallons in capacity. Due to the fish's predatory and aggressive character, you should expect any tank mates, especially any other bottom dwellers, to be harassed and possibly devoured, and even in bigger sized tanks. This is especially true for any other bottom dwellers. When you peek inside the mouth of your pet goonch, you will discover rows upon rows of razor teeth that are built for perishing and consuming other living beings. Teaching them to consume frozen meat and other foods is possible but this will not make them any less hostile. Number 3. The Small Tooth Sawfish Sawfish come in five different species, and one of those is called the small tooth sawfish. There are a great number of different species of rays, skates, and sharks that belong to the elasmobranch superorder of the fish family tree. Cartilage, a hard tissue that is more malleable than bone, replaces bone in elasmo branches. Sawfish are a type of ray. Their gills and mouths are on the underside of their bodies, giving them the appearance of sharks. Sawfish got its name from the appearance of their rostrums, which are long and flat along the margins of the snout, giving them the appearance of a saw blade. 
Sawfish with short teeth can be found in the tropical waters and estuaries surrounding the Atlantic Ocean and closed areas rivers meet in the sea. Even though they favor the warmer and shallower waters of the coast, it has been known for them to occasionally wander into the lower sections of the rivers. In the United States, you can look for them in the waters off the coast of Florida. small tooth sawfish populations experienced a dramatic decline in the latter half of the 20th century due to the destruction of their natural habitat due to coastal development and accidental catching and fish operations. On the other hand, sawfish are considered a bycatch and are only taken by a few fishermen, i.e. incidentally while fishing for other species. Number 2. Silver Arowana The bony tongue family includes the freshwater fish known as the silver arowana. Its natural habitats include the Amazon basin and the South American rivers Rupanumi and Oyapak. Furthermore, silver arowana can be found in slow-moving water environments such as floodplains and swamps. Due to its unique appearance, this fish can be found in aquariums worldwide. To the locals, silver arowana is a vital food source. Wild silver arowanas are decreasing for numerous reasons, including their capture and sale as pets. Thankfully, the silver arowana population is strong and growing. Arowanas are endemic to the rivers and streams of the western Guianas, including the Orinoco, Rupanumi, and Essequibo. They inhabit the Amazon's whitewater and blackwater floodplains. They tend to congregate in low-lying areas that have been flooded by either fresh or salt water. Arowanas can digest various foods, but they prefer to eat surface-dwelling fish. They can catch their prey while swimming from below, thanks to the advantageous placement of their mouth. They display unusual predatory behavior when hunting by hiding parallel to a downed tree, then leaping from the water to attack their prey. They use the low-hanging branches to snare large insects, other fish, crabs, snails, snakes, and even small birds. Number 1. Mata Mata Turtle a Mata Mata turtle's carapace, or shell, is one of the animal's most distinguishing features. There are what appear to be spherical cones protruding from the carapace, making it a large and rough and knobby structure. The shell's three longitudinal keels, or ridges, are responsible for these protrusions. There are distinct concentric growth rings on the conical coastal scutes that run parallel to the dorsal scutes. The neck of a Mata Mata turtle is characteristically broad, flat, and bumpy. It has a wide mouth and long, tubular snout in contrast with small triangular eyes that are nestled at the sides of its large, flattened head. Since only the very tip of the snout needs to protrude from the water for the turtle to breathe, its movement in the water is greatly reduced. The Mata Mata turtle has fully webbed feet. It has five claws on its forelimbs and four on its hind limbs. Legs are short and covered in papillose skin and studded scales. It has a stubby, sharp tail that is papillose. The plastron or underside of the shell of a juvenile Mata Mata turtle is typically a bright salmon color, while the shell and neck are a dark brown mahogany. Salmon turns yellow and brown as they age, and the reddish brown throat turns tan or brown. The length of this turtle's shell can reach almost 45 centimeters, about 1.5 feet, and its weight can reach 17.2 kilograms, 38 pounds. That's the typical weight for a child of four years old. The Amazon River Basin in northern South America is home to Mata Mata turtles, which can be found in Venezuela, Brazil, Peru, Ecuador, Colombia, and Bolivia. Trinidad, another Caribbean island, also has them. They live in streams, swamps, and marshes with slow-moving, shallow water and soft, muddy bottoms where they thrive. They could also live in the salty waters of the Amazon Delta. Which of these creatures scares you the most? Tell us in the comment section below.